Most railroads would not have reached the size they have become today if it was not for their predecessors. Some railroads recognized this with the use of heritage units. This is when a modern locomotive, active on the present railroad's roster, was painted into the paint scheme, or livery, of the railroad which made up part of the current railroad's trackage. For example, the Southern Railroad has made up a major portion of the present-day Norfolk Southern system. Therefore, Norfolk Southern has painted ES44 AC number 8099 into the livery used by the Southern Railroad. Heritage units are commonly made to represent a special event, such as the anniversary of the current railroad. This is especially the case for the New Jersey Transit, as they release heritage coaches and three heritage locomotives for their 40th anniversary in 2019. Interestingly enough, one of the locomotives just so happened to be from the same railroad it was given the heritage livery in. It is also uncommon for a locomotive to be repainted back into the livery of its former railroad, and even more so for it to be in service with its previous railroad's livery painted back on it. All of these circumstances are what makes the story of this locomotive remarkable, as all of these features only describe the history of New Jersey Transit number 4109. It was the 1960s and American railroads across the nation were losing money due to the increasing competition from road travel. Because of this, railroads were always looking for ways to cut costs and purchase low. Acknowledging this, Electromotive Division, or EMD, produced the GP40 road switcher with GP standing for general purpose and 40 standing for model 40. This model proved to be successful as it was a flexible four axle road switcher which could be used for local and long distance freights. With the versatile four axle design of the GP40, it was soon realized that it could also be used as a useful passenger locomotive. The Central Railroad of New Jersey was the first to place Nora for a passenger version of the GP40, with the Southern Pacific soon following, but that's another episode. These locomotives were designated as the GP40P, with the P meaning that this is the passenger variant of the locomotive. These Jeeps were built in 1968 and were placed on longer frames than the standard GP40 to accommodate a steam generator, as the GP40Ps produced the same 3000 horsepower from the EMD 645E3 16-cylinder prime mover. They were used on the CNJ's Raritan Valley Line, the CNJ's main line for service between Newark Penn Station and Phillipsburg, New Jersey, and the North Jersey coastline between Newark and Bayhead, New Jersey. These locomotives were funded through a grant provided by the New Jersey Department of Transportation, or NJDOT, which ran the commuter services within the New Jersey to New York City area. CNJ assigned the GP40Bs number 3671 to 3683, with the locomotive to be focused on being number 3677, being built in October of 1968. This locomotive served the CNJ and New Jersey well into the 1970s, as it ran both long hood and short hood forward, along with a diverse fleet of older CNJ commuter coaches dating back to the 1920s, as well as former long distance coaches from railroads such as the Great Northern, which have seen better days in passenger railroading. A few years after being delivered, the GP40s were given yellow safety stripes at the front, as 3677 gained these stripes around 1974. In order to consolidate the then bankrupt Northeastern railroads, including the CNJ, the United States government created the Consolidated Rail Corporation, or Conrail, in 1976 to take over these railroads in order to boost their profit and to keep these struggling railroads afloat. After the merger, Conrail operated the New Jersey Commuter Services along with NJDOT as the GP40s were later renumbered to 4100 to 4112 in 1977, with 3677 being renumbered 4106. As a side note, most NJ.GP gp 40s were repainted into the official NJ.Livery, but 4106 was never repainted into this paint scheme. Instead, in 1977, the words Led Zepp were painted on the side of 4106, paying tribute to the famous rock band Led Zeppelin. This was fittingly spotted the same year when the band was on tour in North America. In 1983, NJ.Dot forms New Jersey Transit to take over commuter rail systems from Conrail in the region and most of its existing stock was repainted into the NJT livery in the early 1980s. 4106 was no exception as this engine along with other CNJ GP40s served the newly formed New Jersey Transit rail system. Starting in 1991, NJ Transit began a rebuild program with Conrail focusing on their ex-CNJ GP40PHs, along with converting other GP40s mainly from CSX and Conrail to replace the aging GEU34CH. These upgrades included upgraded electronics to Dash 2 standards, 
the addition of a diesel head and power generator powered by a caterpillar, and a complete rebuild from the frame to the roof, the most notable differences being towards the rear. Specifically, they were fitted with new 2000 gallon fuel tanks, a new rear end anti-climber added at the end of the long hood, a new air straight, and brakes changed from class to single shoot. These locomotives were renumbered 4100 to 4112 and designated GP40PH-2, with H standing for head and power, and the dash 2 meaning that it is being rebuilt. After this rebuild of his Jeeps, 4106 was renumbered 4109, as all of the CNJ Jeep E40s were given different numbers within the 4100 to 4112 range, with the exception of 4101. These slightly renumbered and rebuilt Jeep E40s soon re entered service for NJT and served on their diesel lines from Hoboken to all points west within the system. Starting in 2014, nearly all of NJT's original GP40 PHS2s entered an in-house rebuild program by NJ Transit for a mechanical conversion into a standard GP40-2 for non-revenue service. The HEP motor was removed, unlit number boards were drilled in, the rear ladders were removed and replaced with steps, and LED markers were applied to the rear end of the locomotive, replacing their original tricolor class lights. With the only two exceptions for this rebuild being 4100 and 4101, NJT4109 was converted into a work engine where it served as a lead engine for maintenance trains throughout the system. In 2019, a few years after this rebuild, New Jersey Transit was celebrating the 40th anniversary of their formation, and in order to celebrate this occasion, NJT selected five Bombardier multi-level coaches and one cab car to be wrapped in one of six different railroads which make up the present day NJT system. These six wraps represented the Pennsylvania Railroad, Erie Lackawanna, Conrail, NJ Dot, Pennsylvania Reading Seashore Lines, and the CNJ. However, this would not be the last time that NJT would produce wraps celebrating their history. Soon thereafter, NJT selected three locomotives to be given heritage wraps and to be made heritage units. The lucky three locomotives chosen were ALP 46, number 4636, ALP 45, number 4519, and the then store GP 40 PHS 2 number 4109. Since 4109 was an XCNJ GP40, it would only be appropriate to repaint the locomotive into its original CNJ livery. On October 5, 2019, the three heritage units emerged from the railroad's Meadowlands complex, along with other locomotives for the Family Days event. 4636 was given the Pensy livery, 4519 an Erie Lackawanna livery, and 4109 was given its original as-built CNJ livery. What makes the case for 4109 specifically unique is that the GP40 was then reconverted back to a GP40 PHS2 in order to pull passenger trains again, as it was also given positive train control or PTC. After additional work on the locomotive, 4109 started testing on November 20 and entered service on December 3rd and led the Railman for Children train on December 6th along the Montclair Boonton line to Port Morris. Since then, 4109 has been spotted in regular service on NJT's diesel routes, including their X Lackawanna, X Erie, and X CNJ routes, and even led a broken cab car running long hood forward once, reminiscent of the regular long hood forward operations which this locomotive once ran. As this locomotive continues to serve the NJT on local trains, and make rail fans go nuts over catching a heritage unit, 4109 not only represents one of the achievements of the NJT for their 40th anniversary, but it also represents how a locomotive can be repainted into its original livery and be rebuilt to go back into service, something which is nearly unheard of in railroading history. Thank you all for watching this episode of Remarkable Engines. The circumstances which 4109 was in makes its story a truly unique and remarkable one, as it was not only reactivated for passenger service after years of maintenance work, but it was simultaneously repainted into its original livery and ran on home trackage of its original owner. The EMD GP40P is already a rare variant of the successful and widely used GP40 and can only be found along CNJ trackage. The fate of 4109 prior to the rebuild was looking grim, as the locomotive and others in its class were converted for work service and were unlikely to ever pull a passenger train ever again and could possibly be retired and scrapped. With this locomotive, an XCNJ GP40P, being repainted back into its as-built CNJ livery and working on XCNJ trackage makes the story of this engine truly remarkable. Thank you again for watching and stay tuned next time for when I cover Eurostar 08948. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Have a good day.
It is also important to review the correct information for a topic, or else something like this would have happened. There is even a picture of 4109 next to GG1 number 4876, the same GG1 which was involved in the Federal Express incident at Washington DC Union Station in 1957, and is currently preserved at the Baltimore Railroad Museum. 4109 even transported another locomotive which is famous in railroading, that being Nickel Plate Road number 765, when it visited New Jersey for excursions in 1988. Two years later, it led a ski train to Vernon, New Jersey, operated by NJT and the Susquehanna Railroad. After NJT rebuilt the CNJ GP40s, they, along with other ex conrail and XCSX GP40s, were reclassified as GP40PHS2s and were also renumbered, as 4109 was renumbered to 4107.